Wellbeing is not a fad. Wellbeing is a key business driver. So what is wellbeing? There are various elements to an integrated wellbeing plan or approach, and I just wanted to bring three alive. In a way, it's a wellbeing then. So first of all, health. So as an organisation, there's a lot of benefit to you and the people in your team to have an approach or a response to empowering and allowing people to be as healthy as they can be in the workplace and when they go home. So mental health and physical health. So you might want to think about what have we put in place to allow people to be as well as possible so we get the best out of people. Secondly, wealth. That's maybe a really interesting area to put on a Venn diagram of well-being, but more than ever, financial security is really preoccupying people and that is not something that people leave on the doorstep when they come to work. So how can we help people plan for and think about financial stability? How can we think about social mobility? How can we think about fair pay? How can we think about benefits and solutions that allow people to progress? Finally, happiness. Again, sounds like a strange word that's maybe a fad, but you know, happiness and engagement drives trust and trust drives performance. So happiness means my satisfaction with the way that I'm led. It means do I have close relationships at work? Can I be myself? Can I bring my real self to work? Am I recognised? Am I rewarded? Are there moments of brevity and lightness in the work that I do? Uh, are we celebrating the work that we do? And what surrounds wellness is leadership. So your line manager and the effect that your line manager has on you is the greatest indicator of your future well-being at work. So leadership is the greatest enabler or the biggest impediment to well-being. Well-being is not a fad. It's a key business driver that you really need to attend to.